Section 11.7, Areas and Volumes of Similar Solids. Similar solids are solids that have the same shape and all of their corresponding dimensions are proportional. Since that's true, that creates a similarity ratio, or also known as a scale factor. That's the ratio of the corresponding linear dimensions of the similar solids. They'll all be that same ratio. Any two cubes or spheres are always similar. Here's an example. I want to know if the two figures are similar. If they are similar, give the similarity ratio or scale factor. What I need to do is to match up the corresponding sides. Recall, small to small, middle to middle, large to large, and then simplify. So here, I'm going to have 12, which is the smallest, compared to 3. 16 is the middle, compared to 4, and 20 compared to 5. Recall that I need to go from large to small or small to large, and once I start in a specific order, I have to remain in that order the rest of the way through the problem. Let's simplify. 12 over 3 is 4 over 1. 16 over 4 is 4 over 1. 20 over 5 is 4 over 1. Therefore, my similarity ratio, or scale factor, is equal to 4 over 1. And since all the corresponding sides have the same ratio, then that tells me that these two objects, or solids, are similar. Our next example, I have radii over radii. That's 22 over 40. I'm going small over large. I have to stay in that way. 30 over 60. Now let's simplify. That gives me, when I divide by 2 on this one, 11 over 20 is equal to 1 over 2. Therefore, these are not equal, and therefore, these two solids are not similar. Our next example, I have two diameters. I'm going to go left over right. That's 8 over 6 is equal to 16 over 12. And here I match up the diameter over diameter and height over height or altitude over altitude. Check to see if my ratios are equal. Here I can simplify by dividing by 2. That gives me 4 thirds. Here I divide by 4. That gives me 4 thirds. Therefore, these two solids are similar. And the similarity ratio or scale factor is equal to 4 thirds. Theorem 11.12, areas and volumes of similar solids. If the similarity ratio of two similar solids is A to B, for example, on our previous example, we have similarity ratio, which is 4 over 3, which we know is A to B. Then what occurs is the ratio of their corresponding areas is A squared over B squared, and the ratio of their corresponding volumes is a cubed over b cubed. On this example, I know I have two similar solids. I know that because I determined their similarity ratio, and I set up the corresponding sides, 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 3 to 6, and they simplified to my 1 ratio, which is 1 over 2, which I know is the scale factor. I've determined the surface area and volume by using the formulas in the previous sections. The surface area of the first is 22 centimeters squared, and the volume is 6 centimeters cubed. Surface area on the second is 88 centimeters squared, and the volume is 48 centimeters cubed. If we go by the previous theorem, I know that the areas should correspond to be a squared over b squared, and their volume should be a cubed over b cubed. Therefore, in this example, I have a scale factor that is a over b, or 1 to 2. And when I know that, I know I have a squared over b squared equal to a squared here is 22 over b squared is 88. And if I would take the square root of both sides, that would give me a over b. And when I simplify here, 22 over 88, that simplifies to be the square root of 1 over 4. 
because 22 goes into 22 once, 20 goes into 88 four times, and when I simplify, that's going to be the square root of 1 is 1 over the square root of 4 is 2. That gives me back my scale factor. And that shows that a squared is 1, b squared is 4. If I do the same procedure with my volumes, I have a cubed over b cubed, and that would equal 6 over 48. Take the cube root of both sides, and I get a over b. The cube root of a cubed is a, cube root of b cubed is b, and here I can take the cube root of, this simplifies, 6 goes into 6 once, 6 goes into 48 8 times, the cube root of 1 is 1, and the cube root of 8 is 2, again getting me back to my scale factor. Therefore I know 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, and that gives me Theorem 1, 2, which is the corresponding areas are a squared, b squared, and volumes is a cubed, b cubed. Let's look at another example. Each pair of figures is similar. Use the given information to find the similarity ratio, and here they want the smaller figure to the larger figure. And my smaller figure is on the right side of the screen, and my larger figure is on the left, so I have to go right over left. And... To determine this scale factor or similarity ratio, I know that I'm using surface areas. So I'm going to set up A squared over B squared because from theorem 11.2, I know that the surface areas are A squared to B squared from a similarity ratio of A to B. And here I know A squared is going to be, since I'm going smaller to larger, 128 over B squared, which is 200. Then I simplify the square root of a squared over b squared, square root of 128 over 200, square root of a squared is a, square root of b squared is b. Then the square root of 128 divided by the square root of 200 is 0.8, and that fraction is 4 fifths. Now I used a calculator to simplify this expression. To do that, all I did was take second square root parentheses, and then 128 divided by 200, close the parentheses, that's going to give me the square root of 128 over 200, which should be 0.8, that's an easy fraction to deal with, that's 8 over 10, so then simplify to be 4 fifths, if I have a harder fraction or decimal to deal with, that would be math, is the next button I would hit, and then I would hit number 1. I want to take the decimal from the previous answer and turn it into a fraction, hit enter, and that gives me my value, which is 4 fifths. And this 4 fifths is my similarity ratio of these two pyramids, and this is in the form of small over large. Our next example, we're given two cones, and we have their corresponding volumes. Again, we want this in the form of small over large, and we want the similarity ratio of these two similar cones. Therefore, from theorem 11.2, I know the corresponding volumes have to be in the form of A cubed over B cubed if their ratio is A over B. And we are going to go small over large because that's how they asked us to determine the similarity ratio. And what I do is I take the cube root of both sides. The cube root of A cubed is A. The cube root of B cubed is B. And then to perform this calculation, I used my calculator. Therefore, to get a cube root, I used the button math, and then the number 4 for cube root. I hit the parentheses to contain the entire fraction, 675 over 12,800. Close the parentheses. Hit enter. And my decimal point, as you can see, is point. 375. To turn that into a fraction, that'd be 375 over tenths, hundredths, thousands, 375 over a thousand, then simplify. But the calculator will perform that operation by hitting math and then 
1. So I want the fraction of the previous solution. And that gives me 3 eighths. And 3 eighths is my scale factor or similarity ratio of my two similar cones. In this example, we're given the surface area of two similar figures. Here I have a surface area which is 140 feet squared of one figure and a surface area of 315 feet squared for the second figure. And we're also given the volume of the larger figure. Here we have the volume of 945 feet cubed. We want to determine the volume of the smaller figure. The first thing we need to do is to find our scale factor. We need to find our similarity ratio in the form of A over B. We can do that from our previous examples by using theorem 11.12. We know that if I have surface areas, I know that my scale factor has to be in the form of A squared over B squared. So A squared over B squared, I'm going to go small over large, is 140 over 315. Then I take the square root of both sides, the square root of A squared over B squared is A over B. Then I have the square root of 140 over the square root of 315. A will be representing the square root of 140, and B is going to be the square root of 315. And I know from theorem 11.12 that my volumes have to be in the form of A cubed over B cubed if my scale factor is A over B. Therefore, I have the volume of the smaller figure over the volume of the larger figure equals A cubed, which I will substitute in for A, the square root of 140 cubed, and for B, I'm going to substitute in the square root of 315, and that's going to be cubed. But I also know the volume of the larger figure to be 945. Therefore, the volume of the smaller, which I need to determine, over 945 equals a cubed over B cubed. Then I'm just going to multiply both sides by 945 and end up with this expression on the right side for the volume of my smaller figure. To determine the value of that expression, I'm going to use my calculator. This one's kind of acting up a little bit, so I won't be able to enter it the way I like, but I can still find the value using the calculator. Here, I'm going to find the square root of 140 first. So second square root. 140, enter. Now I need to cube that. So second, answer. The caret on top of the division symbol, cubed, gives me 1,656. I need to multiply that times 945. Therefore, 945 times second answer. It's going to give me 1,565,394.711. I have to now calculate the bottom, which is the square root of 315. Enter. Then I need the cube of that solution. Now I need to take these two values and divide them. Therefore, 1, 5, 6, 5, 3, 9, 4, point seven one one divided by 5, 5, 9, 0, point six nine five three nine five. Enter, and I get 280 feet cubed. Therefore, my A cubed over B cubed would have been 280 feet cubed over 945 feet cubed. And if I would take the cube root of both of those values, I would end up with my scale factor of A over B. In this example, I'm given the volume of two similar figures, 324 and 768 inches cubed, and the surface area of the larger figure, which is 192 inches squared. They want me to determine the surface area of the smaller figure. The first thing I need to find is the scale factor or similarity ratio of my two figures. And that will be in the form of A over B. And I can do that because I know 
the volumes of my two similar figures. And I can use theorem 11.12 to find my similarity ratio. And from a theorem 11.12, I know that A cubed over B cubed is equal to the respective volumes, which is 324 over 768. If I take the cube root of both sides, I get the cube root of A cubed is A, the cube root of B cubed is B. Therefore, the cube root of 324 can be substituted in for A, and the cube root of 768 can be substituted in for B. And again, applying 11.12, I can have the surface areas of the small over the surface areas of the larger by substituting in A, which here I have the cube root of 324, and then squaring it, and B, which is the cube root of 768, and squaring it, because I know the surface area is in the form of A squared over B squared. And I also know the surface area of the larger to be 192 inches squared. Substituting in, I get this proportion. Multiplying both sides by 192, I have an expression that represents the surface area of the smaller solid. And if I use my calculator, I can get the surface area of the smaller to be 108 inches squared.